Hi YouTube viewers and my dear JNT friends. Today in this tutorial, we will be going to learn about IT workshop and assembling, deassembling, all the modules we will be seeing, which we will be seeing in IT workshop, we will be seeing in this video. So today's topic is inside the today, inside today's desktop PC. So we will be seeing about the parts, what are the parts present in the PC. Actually, what are the parts present in the cabinet? Cabinet is the outer section. We will be going to see. So, what are the parts present in it? And then we will be going deep inside it. Okay. So, this is the section one introduction to the several parts of the computer. First part is our motherboard. So, you can see this is this is known as motherboard. As you can see, this board, a printed circuit board, which is present in our CPU. That is nothing but is our motherboard. Next year it will be a CPU. Uh, you can see this. This is the CPU, not our cabinet, which we call cabinet as a CPU. That is not a CPU. This is a CPU where it will be present in motherboard. It will be present in motherboard in this white color session. In this white color session, this CPU will be present. Okay. So there are a lot many pins in that. So this is your CPU. Next, it will be an SMPS. This is your SMPS box. This is SMPS. It is nothing but switch mode power supply. SMPS performs switch mode power supply. So it gives power to the motherboard and to all the components. Motherboard uh, and what it will present: the floppy disk, CD drive, hard disk. These all for these are for these things. This from this SMPS will be giving the power supply and next thing is cabinet so this is the cabinet this is cabinet this is not a cpu it is a cabinet okay this box is nothing but it is known as a cabinet in this box we have a small motherboard and in that motherboard we have cpu okay this is our cabinet and next is heatsink fan so which is placed above the cpu which is placed above the cpu this is the heat sink fan okay and next is ram we have this RAM, random access memory, synchronized RAM and asynchronous. This is the hard disk. Uh, depending depends upon the type of hard disk it is. So if you see, we have one TB, 500 GB hard disks. So more than that also we have in the market right now. Two TB also. It will look like same. There will be a power supply. This is the this is the power supply cables and these are the pins connections okay now now all sata has been applied so in a previous version there was a primary and secondary pins so that is the model this is the whole version of hard disk and this is your floppy disk and this is your cd rom and this is your cd writer i am moving a bit fast you can slow down it different screws which are used here is this kind of screws we will be using and AGP card uh, AGP is nothing but graphic card this is a graphic card and uh, next is your LAN card LAN is nothing but Ethernet net connection for net connection we will be using that ok so these are the different parts of the computer ok these are the different parts of your of your CPU or of your PC personal computer then in my next video we will be seeing about the what are the components present on the motherboard and how they are arranged and how they are connected which which socket is connected to which socket okay thank you for watching this video